Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. Well, I think these pictures are spectacular. They're breathtaking. And they realize, you realize there's a whole universe out there that we have not seen. It's true that the farthest reaches of space have some of the most epic questions in science, like how and when the first galaxies formed and what happens inside a black hole. But let's not forget about the equally epic questions that exist right here in our own solar system. Despite the fact that the eight planets plus Pluto and the dwarf planets orbit within a relatively small volume of the heliosphere, there is still so much we don't know about our celestial neighborhood. As we continue to improve our technology and explore space, we are learning more about the nature of our home and the evolution of planets. And now, the unveiling of the James Webb Telescope's most incredible images of Uranus and Pluto to date by renowned physicist Michio Kaku has opened up a whole new world of secrets and mysteries that were previously beyond our wildest imagination. What has the JWST revealed about these planets and what does it mean for future studies? Let's find out. The seventh planet from the Sun, Uranus, is one of the ice giants of our solar system, and it has a unique feature that sets it apart from the other planets. It rotates on its side. This unusual orientation results in extreme seasons that last for years, as its poles experience prolonged periods of sunlight and darkness. And now, following in the footsteps of its stunning Neptune image release in 2022, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has recently captured another breathtaking image of our solar system's other ice giant, Uranus. The latest image features spectacularly vivid rings and bright features in Uranus's atmosphere, providing astronomers with a treasure trove of data to unlock the planet's secrets. The JWST's advanced sensitivity has enabled it to capture the faintest dusty rings that have only been seen before by two other facilities, the Voyager 2 spacecraft, which flew past Uranus in 1986, and the Keck Observatory with adaptive optics. This image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope of Uranus is a real eye-opener. By combining data from two filters in the infrared wavelengths, the telescope reveals a stunning blue hue that Voyager 2 never captured in visible wavelengths. With the help of Webb's exceptional sensitivity, we now see more dynamic details in Uranus's atmosphere than ever before. The planet's polar cap is particularly intriguing, as it brightens when the pole enters direct sunlight during the summer and fades away in the fall, making it a unique feature among all planets. But what's even more fascinating is the subtle brightening at the center of the polar cap that Webb's near cam reveals, a detail that previous telescopes have not been able to capture. The discovery of this enhanced feature will give scientists a new perspective on Uranus and how it interacts with the Sun. Beyond Uranus's polar cap, there's a stunning bright cloud that shimmers in infrared wavelengths, indicating the presence of storm activity. And just when you thought things couldn't get any more exciting, a second bright cloud has been observed on the planet's left side. These features are typical for Uranus and give us a glimpse into the dynamic nature of its atmosphere. Scientists believe that the chemical composition of Uranus's interior, which consists of mostly water, methane and ammonia, contributes to its classification as an ice giant. The planet's small rocky core is surrounded by a hot, dense fluid of icy materials. Furthermore, in this latest image taken by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, Uranus also shows off its impressive collection of rings, with 11 out of its 13 rings visible in the image. The telescope is so sensitive that some of the brighter rings appear to merge into a larger ring when they are close together. Uranus's two paint dusty rings were only discovered during the Voyager 2 flyby in 1986 and are rarely visible with other telescopes, making the web image all the more exciting. Additionally, six of Uranus's 27 known moons, including the brightest one, can be seen in the image. But this is just the beginning. Scientists are eagerly awaiting future images from Webb that could reveal the two faint outer rings that were first discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope in 2007. And the James Webb Telescope has not only astounded us with its remarkable images of Uranus, but it also captured something equally breathtaking about Pluto. With its cutting-edge technology, JWST has now set its sights on unravelling the mysteries surrounding the dwarf planet. 
Not content with capturing stunning images, the telescope is now taking on the challenge of tracking the unexpected atmospheric changes happening on Pluto. As it turns out, the atmosphere of the dwarf planet is mysteriously vanishing and scientists are left scratching their heads trying to figure out what's causing it. Scientists have been conducting an in-depth study of Pluto's thin, mostly nitrogen hemisphere using advanced telescopes located in the United States and Mexico. The atmosphere on this dwarf planet is composed of the vapor pressure of ice that is scattered throughout its surface, which is strikingly similar to that of Earth's. When Pluto's ice begins to overheat, its atmosphere immediately thickens and becomes denser. This is precisely what appears to be happening with a fascinating twist. In the last 25 years, Pluto's distance from the Sun has increased, resulting in a drop in temperature. As a result, Pluto's environment is refreezing back onto its surface, causing it to disappear. This gradual decrease in temperature is unlikely to stop soon because of Pluto's distance from the Sun. As Pluto continues to move farther away from the Sun, the problem will only worsen. To make matters worse, Pluto is now trapped in an infinite loop known as thermal inertia, which has caused it to absorb heat from when it was closer to the Sun, increasing the pressure on its surface and the density of its atmosphere. Pluto's latest twist in fate has stunned scientists as they watch its atmosphere disappear before their eyes. It's amazing how researchers were able to uncover this phenomenon by simply watching Pluto as it crossed the Sun. They did this using a technique called occultation, which has nothing to do with the occult, but everything to do with how cosmic objects cross paths in space. Researchers have been using this method since the late 1980s to study Pluto's atmosphere by measuring the density of its atmosphere as a star passes behind it for a mere two minutes. This information has allowed them to examine Pluto's thin nitrogen-filled hemisphere and the vapor pressure of ice across its surface. It's a groundbreaking discovery that's changing our perception of how dwarf planets behave. Pluto's atmosphere is sustained by the presence of nitrogen on its surface, which is kept warm by the heat stored beneath it. However, with Pluto getting colder, this nitrogen is starting to lose its warmth, causing the atmosphere to freeze and disappear. As Pluto is moving away from the Sun, its atmosphere is cooling down due to the decreasing residual heat. It's similar to how the hot sand on a beach cools down as the day progresses. The observation of Pluto's peculiar transformation and the vanishing atmosphere is a true testament to the power of observation. It has paved the way for technological advancements that have enabled us to gain a deeper understanding of our solar system. And that's not all. The James Webb Telescope has also given scientists a chance to peer deep inside Pluto's heart, a frozen wonder that has long captured our imagination. The latest findings from the James Webb Telescope about Pluto are downright fascinating. Although Pluto may be small, it is far from unremarkable, boasting a range of stunning and mysterious features. Perhaps the most iconic and enigmatic of these is the heart-shaped region visible on its surface, known as the Tombo Regio. This area is covered with carbon monoxide ice and boasts a terrain resembling that of an ice cream cone. In the center of this heart-shaped region lies Sputnik Planum, which has stumped scientists for years due to its numerous craters with no known causes. The Sputnik Planum, an otherworldly terrain on Pluto, may seem ancient, but scientists believe it is actually quite young, in geological terms, at around 100 million years old. This relatively recent age means that it is still taking shape, with ongoing geological processes shaping and reshaping its features. On the surface of the icy plates, curious dark stripes have also been observed, believed to be created by powerful winds sweeping across Pluto. Interestingly, similar patterns are seen here on Earth, and it's almost like Pluto has its own version of weather patterns. And despite its frigid temperatures, Pluto has a heart, but there is more to this story. Scientists have revealed that Pluto's heart has an actual physical impact on the dwarf planet's behavior. This heart-shaped region was discovered by the New Horizons spacecraft during a flyby of Pluto and now studied by the JWST. It covers a million square miles and is made up of nitrogen glaciers. The left ventricle, known as Sputnik Planitia, forced the planet to reorient itself to face its moon, Charon, on the opposite side. Scientists call this phenomenon a true polar wander, where a planetary body changes its spin axis due to large geologic processes. 
the current position of the ventricle, which is a cold trap accumulating nitrogen ice to make a 2.5 mile thick ice sheet, is responsible for cracking Pluto's surface and creating gigantic faults in its crust. The basin is thought to have formed to the northwest of the present location and closer to Pluto's North Pole. And if ice continues to accumulate on the basin, Pluto will keep reorienting itself, so it's not free yet. Who knew a cold heart could be so fascinating? Pluto is full of surprises, and one of them is the existence of dunes on its surface. These dunes are different from Earth's sandy dunes as they are composed of frozen methane ice grains that have been sculpted by winds. But dunes are not uncommon in our solar system. They have been found on many other celestial bodies such as Mars, Venus, Titan and even a comet. Pluto's dunes are in a pristine condition, indicating that they were formed quite recently, probably within the last 500,000 years or even more recently. Pluto presents a fascinating puzzle in this regard. Despite being billions of years old, its surface features and polygonal shapes suggest that it's a young active geological system. The likely culprit for this activity is a process called thermal convective overturning of ice. While researchers were already surprised to discover a vast liquid ocean on Pluto, they're now grappling with another unexpected possibility – active volcanoes on the dwarf planet. Enormous faults slicing through Pluto's icy surface suggest that there's a frozen ocean below, which has gradually expanded and contracted, creating these features over time. Scientists believe that the ocean is still in the process of freezing, potentially forming new faults on Pluto's surface as we speak. If Pluto is indeed an ocean world, then the Kuiper Belt could be teeming with similar oceanic dwarf planets, which would vastly expand the list of habitable places in our solar system. So what more will the JWST uncover about our solar system? Let us know in the comments below.